I was midway through my third year and I had done rotations in surgery and medicine and pediatrics and I love them all. And I also had interest in things like radiology, which is something that I didn't get any clinical exposure to in third year and something I wanted to spend more time experiencing. And so the PACTA program was an obvious solution to my issue. I needed something where I could step back for a second and really immerse myself in the field of radiology and really figure out, is this something I can see myself doing for the rest of my life? And moreover, I think the research aspect of this was also important because research was something that also in parallel had been floating around in my head. Is this something that I could see myself doing? Am I a clinician? Am I a clinician scientist or am I more a scientist? And doing this year off and doing research, I think was one of the best decisions I've made with my education because it made me realize that both that I did see myself as a radiologist, but that I could definitely see myself being in academics and spending my time as a clinician scientist. In the course of my medical training, I'm someone who is very curious and always needs to find a way to, to figure out answers to my questions, but also to find a, a way to be creative and original. And I think clinical and translational research really helps marry the two worlds in, in being very engaged in your clinical work, but at the same time, finding creative outlets to um, develop solutions to common clinical problems that you encounter on a daily basis. An important goal of this research year was to answer the question, will I succeed in academics? And for me, an important milestone in answering that question was publishing a first author paper. I think there are a lot of challenges in publishing a first author paper that one really needs something like a CTSI program to, and a mentor like Bonnie to really help realize that goal. For me, what the program personally offered was for this study, to understand how to do a study in diagnostic accuracy, to understand how bias may play a role in doing a retrospective study and finding ways to overcome bias. A key part to this experience was my mentor, Dr. Bonnie Jo. And although we were encouraged to do these projects independently, I really would not have been able to see this from start to finish without her integral involvement at every step. She was somebody who helped me really focus my research question, really helped me design my study in an appropriate way, and really make it something feasible so that I could accomplish something in a, li a limited time frame. And when it came to the point of writing up my results, of practicing my presentations that I was going to give at national conferences, Bonnie was somebody who I always fell back on, who always took the time out of her day to make sure that we really did a good job in writing our manuscripts and making sure my presentations were communicating the ideas clearly. Something I wasn't expecting when I started the CTSI program was that I would be matched with a Berkeley undergrad who I would mentor. And so I had the great fortune of working and being matched with Ryan Chen, who was studying biology at Berkeley at the time. And we both took a course on designing clinical research together, but because of his interest, he continued to work with me and was really crucial in collecting data that we used for this study. So I felt that mentorship was definitely something that took a lot of time and effort and concentration in order to do a good job. But at the same time, I found something, it was something that was very satisfying and something that was very motivating to work with Ryan and to help me finish the study. And I felt that mentoring was a two-way street. It was something that I felt I was giving to Ryan and something in the process through teaching Ryan things about clinical research that I was also gaining. And so the process of doing a literature review, of teaching Ryan how to do a literature review of how to calculate a sample size, at the same time helped me understand how to do those things better. But also I felt that I understood what being a mentor was about, which was not just kind of teaching Ryan things, but also to try to help him realize his short-term and long-term goals. So one of the things that Ryan was interested in was going to medical school. And so I thought it was a great opportunity to help expose him to things that I was used to doing in medical school. And so, for example, I connected him with surgeons at our breast care center. And so he had his very first experience in the operating room, which I thought was a great thing for him to experience while doing this at the same, but while doing research at the same time.